Hello, Columbia. Hi, I'm William McDonough, and I'm in Charlottesville, Virginia, where I live, and I'm here to talk about the circular economy. Now, one of the great privileges of having been the chair of the Meta Council for the Circular Economy at the World Economic Forum in Davos was getting together with so many people to compare notes and to share our information that we've developed across decades that excites us now as we look at the circular economy as a guiding principle for economic activity. Now, for me, working from a cradle-to-cradle perspective, we start with material health, actually. And the reason is, if we're going to talk about a circular economy where we recirculate goods, then we should be making goods, not bads. So if we recirculate bads, we just did it again. So the circular economy won't be a good unless we make goods. So the first order of business should be to make goods. Then we can start to think of goods as services, which we wrote about in the book Cradle to Cradle many years ago. And the idea of goods as services, which is a, an important idea that's been with us for a couple of decades now, is a really key part of a circular economy because it takes advantage of things that have been empty. We see that with things like um, Uber or with uh, Airbnb and things like that. More efficiency where things are seen as, uh, as services, even apartments, but washing machines, lighting, and things providing light, providing cleanliness, and the materiality is there for realization across generations. That's really exciting. So those are goods as services. And then we have services themselves where we provide benefit to each other with our activity. Then we realize that we want clean energy because all this, if it's powered by fossil fuels being burned into fugitive carbon in the atmosphere, we end up with um, problems with atmosphere, problems in the oceans if we have fugitive durable carbon in the form of plastics and things like that. And then we want clean water and we want good relations and social fairness. So I think for cradle to cradle, when we look at the circular economy, we see that as the circular economic engine of this system, intergenerational benefit produced by economic activity of goods, goods as services and services. The world financial markets are so much bigger now than GDP. The last calculation we just saw was that GDP is only 8% of the world's financial markets, which means most things now are derivative, are trading, arbitrage, and the actual real stuff is just this little part of a very big thing financially. This becomes a critical issue. So if the circular economy is going to matter, which we hope it will, we need to allow it to grow. And it has to grow to everyone's benefit. So we have a sharing economy, a shared economy. And that growth can be fueled by reutilization of things and the making of safe, healthy things that are worth reutilizing. So welcome to the circular economy. Thank you for having me. I wish I could be in Columbia with you. I'm here in Charlottesville, where I live. And thank you for your hospitality.